Good morning, good morning, good morning, happy Monday, uh, happy afternoon, happy evening, if you're in a different time zone. Uh, today is one of the holiest holidays in Judaism, is Yom Kippur, who we started off yesterday at sunset, and we're going on today. So, uh... I didn't grow up in a very religious household and I don't remember celebrating Yom Kippur in Russia at all. Um, my first Yom Kippur was in 1990 in New York. And the crash course for me was basically you cannot have any water, any food for an entire day from sunset to sunset. Um, you cannot make your bed, you cannot dress nice, you're supposed to wear um, white color. And you need to be out in nature, talking to people, asking for forgiveness uh, from anyone who is on your path that day or that year. And to summarize, you cannot do anything that you enjoy. Um, this is what was <laughs> passed down to me from my parents at the time uh, not much has changed except that uh, I do my best but I don't do it a hundred percent so the idea of not showering I could handle not showering one day but the idea of not brushing teeth even though I'm not eating no screw that the idea of not washing my face when I get up no uh, combing my hair, that's Yom Kippur for me every day. <laughs> so there, there are some things that I like and I respect um, and I agree with so I comply. There are some things that I'm not happily applying or, uh, you know, agreeing to, but to make it more challenging for myself, like not drinking water today. Normally, I would be really, really, really against that. And it was like, no, 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 no. Water is life. We need to have it. But um, to see how my body vibrates differently in a lack of fluid when it's a little bit more constricted, I don't know. Maybe I'm taking a whole different approach. And I'm thinking maybe it will bring up something different. Um, so what I'm saying is in any for me in any body of teachings in any um philosophy be it religion be it home be it family be it culture um you know i'm not agreeing to it blindly i pick and choose what fits what doesn't where can i push my own limits and just experiment and experience something and when it's abs absolutely absurd for me and i'm not doing it you know, part of the fast is also no TV, no electronics. I'm already violating it because I'm using the phone to broadcast this message. And I don't even know where it would apply in terms of doing the practice. Technically, um, people, I don't want to say celebrating this holiday, but participating, partaking in this fast, a Yom Kippur for today, is supposed to be a day devoted to studying. Um, so you study, you read religious scriptures, you read specific texts that you're supposed to read, uh, you if you're Jewish, <laughs> uh, on this day. Uh, which is again, something I, I do almost every day. I read stuff, so I don't feel, I don't know. And then it says, you're not supposed to do stuff that you enjoy. I enjoy reading, so that's, hypocritical and contradictory already anyway um yeah i was reading some of it in russian last night to my dad it did not resonate with me at all but anyway enough of that and hopefully everyone's arrived and settled we are going to tune in and do our fists of anger and our meditation so I guess the long story I was making is that I'm working today without water and I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm 
I'm gonna find out. So bringing the hands into prayer mudra in front of the heart center. And let's inhale deeply as we lengthen our spine. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale deeply as we get ready to tune in. Lifting your gaze, lifting through the crown of your head, lifting the spine upwards. Exhale, push all the breath out. Om Namo Gurudev Namo, I bow to the infinite wisdom, the teacher within. Inhale deeply to tune in. Om. Jagad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Sri Guru Dev Name, Ad Guru Name, Jagad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Sri Guru Dev Name, Ad Guru Name, Jagad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Sri Guru Dev Name. Deeply inhale, suspend the breath, pull the root lock, keep the gaze to the brow point. Exhale, release and relax. Okay, so here we go. Fists of anger, releasing the energy of anger, transmuting it. It's it's really, what, what is the purpose? I use different words because different people will resonate with different messages. And so, but I also want to... Um, get across the idea that the possibilities of what you're doing are so vast um, that I just even these three words transform transmute release um, and express as a four um, there's so much more that you're doing this is an alchemy process this is uh, you know you using the power the energy that you have and making it work for you uh, you go recycling if you want. That's also recycling. So for me right now, for today, will be the expression. Uh, I missed my class yesterday that I uh, you, uh, signed up for, and I am totally bummed about it And because there's no recordings and it's just gone. And I mixed the time zones, so I'm really pissed. Who am I pissed at? Everything right now. <laughs> So I got to let that go. Um, squeezing the thumb with all your fingers where the thumb tip is pressing on the mount of the pinky. And we're going to do a backward stroke while keeping the gaze to the brow point. Eyes are closed. We have a mantra going mentally, keeping the mind on the one current. And the mantra could be Har, Wahiguru, or Satnam. And all of those mantras have different uh, feel to them. If you worked with them, you'll know Har is release and God and seed and potentiality. Just 
broad, broad, broad terms. Satnam is truth is my identity and Wahi Guru ecstatic bliss while in the union with the infinite, merging with the infinite and being in ecstasy with that. That's um, a tantric mantra. The union between your feminine and masculine could also be Wahi Guru. Uh, so powerful breath of fire through the O-shaped mouth. Working the navel and diaphragm is supporting. We want to pull the belly button towards the spine. And it's a little pulse. You don't have to make it too intense as long as it's rhythmic. Uh, so on every stroke of the fist back is an exhale. So that you, that helps you set the rhythm and the pace. But we're holding the gentle root lock remaining in our body and really not thinking about it, but really focusing on the body. If you didn't have a mind and the body just had the mind of its own, which it does, um, just allow your body to move on its own without regulating um, in the mind so much. Um, just let it, let it go. Women on menstrual cycle or pregnant will be utilizing long deep breath instead, but you could certainly do the movements. All right, so here we go. We're going to sit in with a nice deep posture, taking a deep inhale. And then let's set in with the breath. And the arms. So it could be hut, 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 or set, num, set, num, set, num, wahi, guru, wahi, guru, wahi, guru. So choose what you like and go let it all out.
deep inhale through the o-shaped mouth pull the arms up interlace fingers pull the root lock seal the tongue <sighs> again squeeze the body tightly last one out to the side bring them to rest on your knees or your lap you have a sip of water if you need to cater to your vessel your divine vessel stay within this meditative space Let's take a deep inhale. A sigh or an exhale. Again, giving your body what it craves. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely. And when you're ready, you may gently open your eyes. Oh, stretch your legs out and have some water. Oh my gosh. I'm going through this Cinderella complex. <laughs> And uh, it's 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 interesting to me that um, while our um, environment is charged on so many levels, politically, economically, racially, ethnically, um, gender based, it's it's all like all these topics, all these questions, all these things are bubbling up at the surface. And here I am sitting on the mat and thinking, oh my gosh, you know, my mom made a reference a couple of days ago at the breakfast. She was like, oh my gosh, my daughter, you were like Cinderella. <laughs> I was like, yeah, kind of, you know, except maybe I'm fed good food um, and I'm allowed to sleep in the bed with the <laughs> mom, stepmom, whatever. Um it's um it's still frustrating at times you know like as soon as i sit down it's like oh can you get this and then you get down and it won't be like a direct question like would you please go get this it's like oh um no you know where are the napkins it's like being plied and it's like you have to read so much between the lines and these innuendos and I'm so sick of it. Like what has happened to direct communication? What has happened to just asking for what you want, what you need? Why you got to go around? And then I look at it like, where do I do that? Where do I ask indirectly for things or when I'm hinting or expecting something and it's very like it's non-existent I'm pretty clear with what I want and what I need um and uh so it it's weird and then this idea of slave 
owner, you know, like there's stuff that's going around and conversations I've been a part of with some of my friends who are perhaps um, uncovering that their ancestors were slave owners and they feel remorse and guilt and understandable perhaps, yeah, but <laughs> I I am not subscribing to that emotional conflict. I, I haven't <laughs> experienced that yet. I don't know if it's in my lineage, probably, because we've been reincarnated so many times, but the realization that I have is that in some families, perhaps in some circles, there are people that are treated like slaves. You know, there are there are children that are forced to grow up faster than they need to. And again, who's to judge? Because that's their that's their path. That's their life. They chose it. They came here. Anyone on this planet at this time is volunteered hopefully to be here, wasn't reincarnated automatically due to karmic way, but there are some people with that as well. But again, it's uh, everything that we see in the world, somehow, somehow we're part of that too. We're, we're connected and we've experienced that and we were on the other side as well. We were the oppressors and we were the oppressed. And it's like, well, people will understand that. That's why I can't, I feel the triggers and I feel the the anger and frustrations coming up and it is so interesting that the other side just washes over like oh yeah you are that too oh yeah you your experience just and it puts me in such a flow and ease I wouldn't have survived here <laughs> with no conflict yet and yeah every day it gets a little thinner and thinner the ice gets a little thinner and thinner and I'm catching myself more and more, but I'm really grateful for this practice. So to set us in for a meditation, we're bringing the hands in onto the chest, thumbs are pointing up, sitting up with a nice lengthened spine. Your hips are relaxed. Hopefully you're sitting on a um, supporting surface cushion or pillow or chair. Chin tucked, chest lifted, heart open. You're courageous and vulnerable. Eyelids are closed 9 tenth or fully closed, focusing at the brow point. The meditation to release or witness inner conflicts based on breath. Inhale deeply first. Exhale. Now let's inhale deeply, slowly for five counts. Exhale slowly, fully for five counts. And suspending the breath out for 15 counts, comfortably holding your lifted posture, being totally still and relaxed. Coming to that place of serenity that exists within you at any moment, at all times. And continue the cycle. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling. Watching your chest rise and fall. Watching your body move and dance with the breath. and learning to be still and continue observing your breath
make this your last breathing cycle. And then inhale deeply. And exhale fully. Inhale, stretch your arms up, pull the breath all the way down into the root chakra. Pull the root lock. Exhale, push all the breath out. Pull the root lock. Inhale. Pull the breath all the way down. Pull the root lock. Shake the arms, shake the shoulders. Just move your body vigorously or gently. And exhale. Inhale deeply and exhale. Inhale deeply again. A sigh or an exhale. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes. In this meditation, I was um, shown that it really isn't about the titles or the wording around, you know, um, family relations and dynamics, whether you are oppressed at work or whether you were a slave. It's, it, it, these are all words and titles and the roles, but ultimately what is with us is the experience that we had the experience of being oppressed or having our rights uh, limited. Um, and so I feel like collectively we're in the pool of just um, dealing with our trauma and with our pain that we might have experienced individually uh, and collectively as soul fragments, you know, and it's, it's time to kind of collect all parts of you, recognize that we're all, you know, the same. We're really the same, unique and yet the same. We go through the same things, feelings, emotions, experiences, and kudos to all of us who are doing this practice and clearing this out because we are helping the world on a minute level individual cell and then our vibration radiates into the world and we do heal with our presence with our auric vibration when we can't come in contact with others so yay for us and anyone else out there who is actively working i think this is the activist type of work that you're actively working on yourself you don't have to be sometimes writing or no not writing uh protesting protesting and marching and it's like there's many 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 forms of you know activism and spiritual activism for me happens here on the map praying chanting working on yourself so that you could help uplift everyone or those around you all right let's bring the practice to the close hands at the heart center so what happens when i don't have water i talk more <laughs> all right let's inhale deeply to seal our practice with this beautiful precious breath and now inhaling deeply to seal this practice with truth being our identity so Satnam, big truth, small identity. Satnam, thanks for listening and thanks for participating. And I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Satnam. <laughs>